Today we're talking about exporting markers here in DaVinci Resolve 18.6.5. If you watched my video from like three years ago on exporting markers in Resolve 17, it's a little bit different now. So let's just jump right into Resolve and get into it. In Resolve here, you can see I've got all these markers on my timeline here. And why do I like to use markers? Well, for me, I like to add markers where I want to put chapters in my YouTube videos. So by having these markers, I can then just come and I know at, okay, 12 minutes and 11 seconds, I want this title as the chapter name in my YouTube video. Now you could go through and type all these out, but I don't wanna do that. I wanna export them out. One thing we need to change before we get started here is make sure that our time code says that it starts at zero, zero. By default, DaVinci Resolve starts at one hour. So if you have your markers already created, for example, with this one right here, it would say one hour, eight minutes, and one second, instead of zero hours, eight minutes and one second. So let's just change that real quick. If you come up to the DaVinci Resolve menu at the top left, down to preferences, and then in our user settings here, come to editing and right here, start time code. By default, this is gonna have a one right here. So you wanna change that, you want that to be all zeros. So I'm gonna go ahead, just delete the one, zero, hit save, and now you're good to go. So that way when we export our markers, they have the correct time code in them. They start at zero and work their way up. So here's how we can export out all of our timeline markers. First, you wanna be in the edit tab, which is where I am. I'm in the edit tab down here at the bottom. Then we wanna come and open up our index right here. Now, when you open up your index, you're gonna see a whole bunch of different stuff in here that we don't need most of it. And what we're looking for specifically is the markers. So come to the three little dots up here at the top, and then we wanna come down to show markers. Now under here, we can select just the color markers that we want. In my case, they're all blue, so I could select blue, or I could select all. In this case, I'm just gonna choose all. So now we see all of our markers here, and if I scroll down, we can see there's a whole bunch of them. And if you wanna change the columns here, just to be able to see things clear, you can right click on the column headings here and just check on the ones that you want. Although it doesn't matter what you see in this window because all of these columns are gonna be exported out when we export out our markers. So to export out our markers, we're gonna to come to the three dots again and come down to Export Edit Index. Resolve's gonna pop up a window and ask you where do you wanna save this file? And you've got the option of how you wanna save it. So first I'm gonna name it. I'm gonna call mine Markers from my Multicam vid because that's what it's for. And down here we've got different ways we can save this file out. We can use comma separated values or you can use tab delineated values. It's up to you, whatever you want. I'm gonna go with the CSV. And I'm gonna go ahead and click save. And just like that, all of our markers are now exported. So let's go take a look at that file. So when I take a look in my project directory here, I see my multicam markers vid, my CSV. So you can use numbers is what I'm gonna use here on a Mac. You can use Excel or any other spreadsheet program. You should be able to open it right up. So I'm gonna right click, open with numbers. Now when I open this up, you're gonna see all of the columns that we saw in DaVinci Resolve. So everything is here. It doesn't matter what you saw in DaVinci Resolve. We have all of the columns here. So we're gonna do a little bit of quick cleanup here so that we can just easily copy this out and paste it into our YouTube description so that way we can have the chapter markers right in our YouTube video real quick and easy. So what we wanna do is actually delete out everything that we don't need. So the only thing that we're gonna need is the record in time or the source in, either one, it doesn't matter. They're both the same. You can see uh, if I just pick one, 211, 211. So we can keep either one of those. So I'm gonna delete everything before that. Gonna right click, delete these columns. The only other column that I wanna keep is the notes column because it has the title of what I want the chapter to be called on my YouTube video. So everything else in between, we can delete. Right click, delete columns, and delete the columns at the end. I'm gonna go ahead and hit delete. So the next thing we need to do is take a look at our record in numbers. So when we look at the time here, this is 11 seconds and 18 frames. So we don't need the very last number there in the, uh, the record in column because it's not gonna help us at all. It's actually gonna mess it up once we dump it into YouTube because YouTube doesn't care about the frames. They just wanna know the hours, minutes, and seconds for where you want the chapter to appear. So there's a few ways that you can go about doing this or getting rid of those numbers. One is to go into each one, you know, click and then delete the number and then you'll be good to go there. Or you can use this formula that I'm gonna put up on the screen here, and I can't take credit for this, I didn't come up with it, but Photo Joseph uh, came up with it and dropped it in a comment on my old video about exporting markers. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna add a new column in between column A and B, or in between the record in and notes. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in a column after. And just so you know, when it comes to YouTube chapters, your first 
chapter or time marker or time code in your description needs to have all zeros in it. So what I like to do, and I usually do this in my YouTube video, obviously I forgot here, but I'm gonna add in a row and I'm just gonna put in all zeros and I'm gonna call it, you know, multicam video or something like that because YouTube needs all those zeros to know, oh, okay, he's gonna list a bunch of uh, time codes where you wanna put the chapters in your video. So you're gonna go ahead to your middle column here. I'm gonna hit equals and then we're gonna put in this formula that I'm gonna put nice and big on the screen here so you can copy it down, put it in a safe place and then go ahead and accept that cell. And now all we have to do is copy this formula all the way down our list. So I'm just gonna do that all the way down. And now what happened was that formula is gonna get rid of those frames for us. So now we just have hours, minutes, and seconds. And that's exactly what we need for YouTube to be able to put it in our description. So that way it works perfectly and we've got perfect YouTube chapters. Now all you have to do is just come in here, copy whatever you want, copy it jump onto YouTube, paste it in the description, and you're good to go. You'll get those chapters in your YouTube videos. So if we jump over to YouTube here real quick, you can see in my description, boom, I just paste that in, save it, and you're gonna get all of those chapters in your video. You're good to go. And your audience is gonna love you because they can jump from chapter to chapter real quick and easy. So there you have it, exporting markers here in DaVinci Resolve 18.6.5. If you have any questions, Drop a comment down below, let me know. Oh, and by the way, if you wanna make your audio awesome, have you checked out my new audio essentials for video editors in DaVinci Resolve course? I'll link that in the description below too. All right guys, thank you so much. I will see you in the next video. Peace.